Welcome back. Here we are. We are here. <laughs> so as promised, there's a, a girl named Evelyn whose age I do not have. But, but you have a name and that's something. I have a name something. and her name ends with a heart, just so you know. Anyway, she, I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. How does your name end with a heart? That's just what her signature looks like, Evelyn. Oh, okay. I thought, never okay. mind what yeah. I thought. Continue. All right. So she had this great idea for a blog and I think that it's something we should look into. Okay. Can you stab a person with an ice cream cone? I dare say you can. <laughs> Especially if it's one of those like pointy yes, cones. Yes, and you cones. freeze it. <laughs> freeze it, that's a good idea. I worked with delinquents for a long time. <laughs> Thanks, what? <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so speaking of blogs, um, should we start one? No. <laughs> wow, that was quick. <laughs> I think this is as much as the world can handle of us. I do too. We'll, we'll work we'll into that. We'll think about it. Okay, but speaking right. of sharp, pointy things. Oh, wow. <laughs> Go for it. I'm I can't going wait to hear where this. this is going. Okay, there was an article about it. Well, okay. The title of the article was, and it had a picture of the woman, you know, with her high heeled shoes and, you know, uh. Sorry, I have to write down an idea. <laughs> <clears throat> These shoes will actually kill you. And so I, I was curious. I'm like, okay. So they'll kill the person wearing them, or you could be killed by these shoes, because let's be honest, some of those stiletto heels could hurt. Well, and we recently read, speaking of shoes that can kill you. <laughs> or deform you. Poor Sarah Jessica Parker, who we know has done uh, six seasons of Sex in the City, not to mention the those movies. other two movies, so we won't mention them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> recently found out that her foot is actually now deformed from wearing yes. said heels to the point that her doctor was pointing at her foot saying see this little bone shouldn't be there shouldn't be there yeah, yeah. So you're a freak she... now jessica <laughs> she's not a freak i know she just it does however make me a little bit concerned for some friends of ours yes because we do have some friends that wear some really cool looking shoes those really cool looking shoes but i will look at them and as a man i don't know how you women stuff your feet into them to begin with because uh yeah well, it's not like they're too small well no but it's just the fact that your toes are down it's here true. and your ankle is up here it's and i true. like how my arm just suddenly became this foot looking thing well i wasn't gonna do. say anything but now that you mention it <laughs> oh all right so. <laughs> anyway, anyway so anyway oh. it turned out that this guy had tried to kill this woman by putting poison in her shoe how do you get how does poison transfer well clearly i mean is it like that last pirates of the caribbean movie where they had poison frogs and you just put the frog over your blade and then he stabbed him and then he was dead i'm gonna pretend like i know what you're talking about and no it's not like that <laughs> It didn't work, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but just so that what you know, the, the option is out there. Okay. That's all. That's all I was it. What kind of poison do you use? We don't know. Why? Why are you going to ask me all these questions? Because I want to know. <laughs> like, did he think it was going to seep through the skin? It doesn't matter because I'm not letting you anywhere near my shoes. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you, on the other hand, might want to shake yours out before you put them back on. Where are my shoes? Where are my shoes? Yeah. So, yeah. So, speaking of sharp things. Um. No. <laughs> And I don't know if you remember this. I have a wooden stake in my car. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> no, you never know. And this is why you never know. <laughs> so I have said wooden stake in my car because, you know, who doesn't like Buffy the Vampire Slayer? I don't. You do too. She almost made you cry once. <gasps> that's not true. It is true. You called me just once and she didn't actually cry, oh, but it was really right. close. <laughs> was it because of the fog? No. <laughs> That's a story for another time. Yeah, fog. <laughs> <laughs> Writing that down. All right, anyway, sharp things. So I had the sharp things, so I had the stake in my car, and um, I would keep it up front with me. I don't know why. It just, just in that little side. Yeah, the just door. in the little side. It just was kind of one of those things that I was given it, and it just never made it farther than the car. Because where do you put a wooden stake in your house? And I'm just saying, what better gift is there than a wooden stake? <laughs> there isn't. So on a Halloween night. <laughs> No, it might not have been Halloween. It might not. It might have been the day before. Not that it matters. I'm sitting in the left turn lane, and there's, you know, the left turn lane to the side, the outer left turn lane. 
I look over to see this teenage girl dressed as a vampire trying to get my attention. <laughs> Hissing at me, making the movements. So I just reach over and pull out my wooden stake and tap it on the window. <laughs> she busts out in hysterics. <laughs> because what are the chances? It's worth carrying a wooden stake in your car at all times. It was worth it on just the off chance for that one that reason. One time, that might work out. Yeah, I have never, it was just perfect. <laughs> I just, I cannot tell you how much joy that story brings me. I love to tell it. You know, and I'm going to tell you that I wish I had a wooden stake because keeping garlic in your car for the same reason, not as effective. Well, <laughs> and I'm always worried about the day should I get pulled over for whatever reason. Do you have any weapons in the car? No. Well, What's this wooden stake? To quote Xander from Buffy, I am building a really <laughs> building a really small wooden fence. Tell him it's a toothpick. <laughs> it could be for my werewolf. Or that you're working on a toothpick. That's it's right. It's clearly not a toothpick. Whittling yes, away. <laughs> but it could be. Oh yes. It could be. Uh, <laughs> All right. It could be. Anyway, Speaking moving on. There's a speaking of whittling. It's kind of a stretch. I can't wait to see this transition. It's kind of a stretch, but uh -huh. it applies. All right. So recently, my kind brother was um, asked by his <laughs> wife um, to help cut the vegetables because she was worried that she was going to cut herself. So he politely offered to help. And what does he do? <laughs> Cuts the end of his thumb off. Shut up! Shut up! Did he have to put it on ice and take it to like the emergency room? And <laughs> like my friends with his pinky? Yes. There's my pinky toe. It's right here. That's not a pinky or, toe. That's a carrot. Even worse, the Twenty One Jump Street movie. Oh gosh. I'm not gonna say anything, but if you've seen no, it, no, stop it. No, no, and you're no. You're a man. No, no. You know what I'm talking no. about. Okay. No. <laughs> Why? Because really? No. Yeah? No. We're no. going back to the thumb. All right, back to the thumb. Anyway, he posted a picture. It was disgusting. And I'm just saying that my husband worries about me with knives. Of course, it's for a completely different reason. He's not Your husband him. also wears surgical gloves when he... Peels potatoes. <laughs> it's true. Why does he do that? Starch. Dries out his hands. Freaks him out. I don't know. Oh, I thought... Never mind what I thought. Anyway, on that note, um, I think we're going to wrap up this episode. I dare say we should before it gets ugly. <laughs> All right, I'm Jared. I'm Kate. Don't Just forget to like us, subscribe to us, make and comments. follow us everywhere. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.